Well, hey gang, welcome back to the channel. I am Brian, and today we're going to be doing a little experiment with these two different sets of Bouge RV solar panels that are behind me. So over here on this side, I've got two of the 180 watt 5 BB solar panels, and then I've got two of the 200 watt 9 BB solar panels. What I'm gonna to try to do in this little video is determine if those 200 watt BB solar panels are really worth the premium because they are quite a bit more expensive. Now they are nine bus bars, so they're supposed to be a little bit more efficient than the older model five bus bars from Bouge RV. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna hook both of these different sets of solar panels up in series and <laughs> excuse the little mock setup that I have here, but it's all I have to work with. So we're gonna be using the Power Queen 12.8 200 amp hour battery. This is about half full on state of charge. Okay, and then we're gonna be using this EP Ever MPPT solar charge controller. Uh, this is the 200 volt or 80 amp version, and it does come with this MT50 display control box. So this particular charge controller actually does come with the MT50. The smaller ones of this, you have to buy that separate, but this thing is a beast. Um, it's hard to tell, but the heat sink on the back of this thing is just ginormous. But it's a, pr it's a pretty beefy little little solar charge controller. But the sun's not quite up yet. It's pretty early in the morning. I've, I do have both of these solar panels at the exact same angle. It might not be the most optimum angle for solar panels at this time of the year, but it's as close as I could get. But if they're both at the exact same angle, I think that that should still depict a pretty good result on both of these panels. But I'm gonna wait about an hour until that sun gets up just a little bit higher. And we're gonna hook these solar panels up to that solar charge controller and see the wattage difference or the, or the amperage difference and actually see how many watts each one of these arrays will put out and see if it's really worth those 200 watt BB solar panels. So should be fun. Stay tuned. Okay, so first up on this test, I've got these two 200 watt 9 BB bus bars hooked up in series. And we are pulling right now 250 watts, 251 watts. And that's just gonna slowly climb because this is fairly early in the morning. So I'll do this twice today. But right now, 250 watts or 7.3 amps. Again, the 200 watt 9 BB panels. Now let me go quickly change over to the 180 watt panels and see what we get. Okay, so now I have these two 180 watt solar panels hooked up in series and we are able to be pulling out right now. So 250 watts or 6.6 .6 amps, 247 watts. Well, to be honest, I was expecting a little bit more of a difference between the 200 and the 180 watt arrays. But right now the 200 watt array was getting 250 watts and the 180 watt array was getting 248 watts, give or take. It's kind of fluctuating just a little bit, but I was actually expecting a little bit bigger difference. So I'm gonna let these sit out and cook in the sun for about an hour and then come back and do another test to see if there's a little bit bigger of a difference. But let me show you the wiring just so you guys know that, they, that these are in series, very simple wiring. So right now I've got my 180 watt panels hooked up in series and there are the power leads going directly to my power queen. These are unplugged. And let's check this wattage again. 245 watts, 6.9 amps. And we went back up to 250 watts. So if this strategy keeps up, I'm gonna say it's a better deal to go with the 180 watt panels because right now they're over $100 cheaper. There is a sale on the 180 watt panels, but they're 100 bucks cheaper than the 200 watt BB panels. So if this keeps up, I know where I'm gonna put my money. But we'll see, we'll give it another hour and we'll come back and see once these solar panels heat up where we stand in terms of both of them. So. Now you can stay tuned. I kind of wanted to go over this EP Ever again. So this is the main control box and you can see there's the screen right there. So it, it toggles through all of the pertinent information. So I'm getting 40 volts, 6.7 amps. I've got one kilowatt of energy and it just kind of, it cycles through those. Now the MT50 control box that it comes with or monitoring box does pretty much tell you the exact same thing. So you can kind of pick which, which view you like the most. But the main thing about this unit that to me is kind of a must is if you go into the control parameters, you can set everything how you want it. And it's much, much easier doing it through here than through those two little buttons up there. So I'll go ahead and show you, I'll toggle through my settings, how I have this set up. Um, it is a user specified battery. There is not a LiPo 4 setting on this actual control box. So I had to set it up. And of course, this is a Power Queen 200 amp hour battery. I've got the, volt, the overvolt disconnect at 
the charge limit at 14.6, overvolt reconnect at 14.6, the equalization charge at 14.2, boost charge 14.2, float charge 13.6, boost reconnect 13.2, low volt reconnect 12.8, um, and then the rest are just kind of standard type numbers, but you can see you've got a lot of different ways you can configure this charge controller. And right now my battery type is a user. Basically I built this, this setting myself and I got 200 amp hour battery. So I'm gonna go back, well, escape. I'm gonna go back up to the monitoring and go down to the screen that I like. Um, I'm gonna go to where it shows basically just your solar input information. So right now I'm getting 270 watts out of those 180 watt 5 BB panels, uh, 6.8 amps and 39.5, 39.6 volts right now. All right, gang, well, it's been about an hour and a half later. These solar panels are, are pretty warm now. It's only about 72 degrees outside, so it's actually perfect ambient temperature outside to test solar panels. Not a cloud in the sky. So really pretty good conditions. Now, again, these solar panels might not be the exact optimal angle or direction to the sun, but this is the only spot that I had to test these on. So solar panels are just cooking just fine. So let's check out the controller for these 180 watt panels. And we are pulling 313 watts at 8.5 amps, 36.4 volts. And again, that is coming off of these 5BB 180 watt panels. So now let's switch over to the 9BB 200 watt panels and see what we're getting. Okay, got those hooked up. Now let's go check out the panel. Yep, and we're still at 308 watts. Okay guys, so last check-in. I've got both panels kind of situated a little bit differently because I'm chasing the sun around, but you can tell I'm still at the same angle on both. And right now I've got the five BBs hooked up in series. Coming over here. And I'm getting 332.9 watts, 8.6 amps at 36.9 volts. So. Let me flip the circuit breaker and give those a chance to catch up and we'll see the results. Settle down. Now we're at 315 watts. My little conclusion on my personal test on these solar panels is I don't think it's necessarily worth the extra money for these 200 watt 9BB cells. Again, they're around 100 bucks more. I'm pretty much getting the exact same output on these 108 watt panels. So I know where I'm gonna spend my money. And this, granted, this probably wasn't a truly scientific experiment, but this is how I would use the panels in the real world. So, and I can tell you that I'm getting pretty much the exact same amount of output off of the cheaper 180 watt 5 BB panels than I was on the more expensive 200 watt 9 BB panels. So folks, that's going to wrap up this little test. I hope you found it informative and uh, we will see you on the next video. Take care.